Great, so I am going to talk a little bit about how to very briefly analyze data from start to finish. Um, this very first step is going to be talking about just importing the data and seeing what variables that you have there. Um, so your very first step, obviously, log into SAS on demand. Um, and then next, make sure you've highlighted the folder that you want to put this into, um, because if you don't, uh, you won't see these lovely little options up here. Um, so I'm going to put everything into my SAS user folder. Um, once you've clicked that, make sure you click this upload button right here. And then once you've seen that, click choose files so that you can figure the, out the file that you want to include. Um, we're going to use HSB2. And since it's been a minute since uh, I <laughs> put HSB2 in here, uh, I'm going to do a quick little search so that I can find the original file that we had. And then once you've clicked it, press open and then upload. So you should see it populate here as an Excel file. Make sure you've right clicked it and then import the data so that it imports it into SAS on demand. You'll see this window pop up. This is just giving you the um, import, uh, I guess, code. And so you want to go ahead and edit that. Um, I like to rename mine to the same name as the original data set, so HSB2. And the very first step is just dropping the web table. This is if you already have uh, imported it once before, it'll get rid of it. Um, sometimes we do this if we made changes and we accidentally messed up the data set initially. So we want to, you know, start fresh with the original one. Um, and then this is it specifying what file that we're, you know, trying to import and where it's located. So you'll see the full path of where this data set is located. For the proc import, this is the code to import the data. So I'll rename this right here. Um, the DBMS is specifying what type of file it is, so an Excel spreadsheet. Um, the output is going to be this HSB2, meaning we'll, talk, we'll call it HSB2 in all of the code that we're working with. And then I wanted to proc the contents as well so that I know what codes, or not codes, what variables are included in my data set um, to make sure everything got moved over correctly. And then the very last step, opening up the table um, so that we can actually view it. So you can highlight this. If you highlight all the way up to the top or if you just don't highlight anything at all, it'll run the whole thing. Um, and you don't have to worry about what's in green here. This is just comments when we see this star right here. Um, this tells SAS that this is a comment, do not actually run this as a code. But I like to highlight um, just the section that I'm working with and then tell it to run the code. So you should see um, this prop contents pop up in your results section. It tells you what variable names um, or what variables are included in this data set. Um, as well as how many observations that you have total. So we have 200 because this is based off of um, 200 high school or higher students. Um, we have their, you know, uh, gender, their race, and all of these are included in the um, Cougar view that has descriptions of each of these. But very quickly, um, I'll kind of describe what each of these are. So female, we have one for whether they're female and zero if they're not female. Uh, we have their ID, these were randomly assigned to each person. Math for their math score. Um, program is what type of high school program were they enrolled in. So one for general, two for academic, three for vocational. We have their race, um, one for Hispanic, two for Asian, three for African American, and then four for white. We also have their reading score, and then what type of school they were in, one for public, two for private. Their science score, their SES, so one for low, two for middle, three for high. And then their um, social studies score and their writing score. So you can kind of already tell based of how I'm describing some of these, we're going to have to create dummy variables um, when it comes to doing you know, logistic regression and stuff like that. Um, for this type of data.